Okay, welcome back to Celeste. This is the, this is the, I'm hitting him with the old, uh, stream after another stream thing. Look at that death count, that's awesome. Uh, we're gonna do like two rooms today, but one of them's gonna be really hard, I don't know about the last one. Cause, uh... Just about done with the, uh, beginner lobby. Fuck. I see that little wall there, but I don't think I maybe need to use it. Fuck. Fuck. So I'm- I'm- we're just gonna slam ourselves at this one. Until I figure it out. No, maybe I should use that little wall there. Seems like if you were optimal, you could get it, but... Fuck. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> when do I want to throw that thing? Because there's a spring there that I think it needs to land on. Maybe I could just do all that without throwing it? Actually, that seems more likely. Because that little force field fucks with it, too. I think it'll break if it touches the purple thing. So, I think just carry it with me and, like... It takes a second to blow up, right? So, like, if it hits that purple wall and then I bubble right into it... Maybe that'll do the trick. I think, is this, is this room, like, multiple save locations? Like, is this a save spot, maybe? Doesn't really look like it, no. There's no actual solid ground to stand on. I think this is all just one long room. Which is kind of fucking insane. But I'm sure it's not as bad as it looks. Sometimes rooms can be intimidating. He's just immediately in the groove with this game. Oh. Huh. This is a comfort zone game. For sure. Okay, that does just instantly kill me. So... Hmm. Because I need to, what I need to do, if I remember correctly, the gimmick of this level is to throw, maybe like throw it like the instant I'm on the spring. Like right when I hit the spring, just chuck it. Fuck. This is one of the best just pick up and play games, though. Fuck. It's like you can just barely make it. Fuck, no, I forgot to throw it. God damn it. Because then I want to catch that jellyfish, too. Ooh. That works, that works. I thought for some reason the white force field would fuck with it, but that, I think, only affects the jellyfish. Fuck. <laughs> okay, this room's cool. And especially with, like, how much fucking content there is in this mod. It's one of those ones that I can super easily just pick up and play. Oh, fuck. <sighs> uh, fun fact- oh god, I missed with the shot there. The game capture software that I use, uh... You have to, like, label what in each individual, like, capture instance is. And the one for this game has been called Cave Story the entire time I've been playing this mod. Because I meant to start playing Cave Story and then decided to do this instead. And I will still play Cave Story. But I just never bothered to change it. It's just been called Cave Story the whole time. Fuck. I missed. Oh, 
Oh, and then I gotta wave dash off that. Fuck, man. Ooh. <sighs> Damn. I gave Celeste- whoa, nice voice crack. I gave Celeste another chance I had quit after beating the hotel level. After watching these streams and got all the way to farewell and gave up. That's good, I mean, you beat the game. That's... that's good in and of itself. Did you do the B-sides? And the C-sides and shit? Oh no. I will stream Cave Story. Okay, I'm doing this little wall jump here. It's easier than I thought it would be. What? Because... Doing... I feel like doing the B-sides... And the C-sides... Really helps with Farewell. Oh god, okay. Alright, progress. Progress. <laughs> I love progress. Like, doing... Doing- yeah, exactly. Just trying the B-side- B and C-sides will make you better. And also, even then, Farewell is a pretty significant jump in difficulty. Uh, also, here's- here's the very specific advice, is do every B and C side except for Core C. Save Core C for after Farewell, because Farewell will make you get used to how to do, like, hypers. Okay, so I think we just dash straight into this and drift down into the bubble. Then go across, up, oh god. I see what I have to do there. And then once I get down there... Oh god, uh... Am I like grabbing the crystal and then instantly throwing it to the right there? I think that's what we're doing. Uh, this is why I would never play Celeste, what, this level? Because again, the ever-friendly reminder that this is a mod, and is not, like, indicative of the, uh, difficulty of the actual video game. Although this is merely intermediate, which I call into question why this fucking level was this hard. Damn it. Yeah, so this level has taken me so far three streams to beat. One level. Oh god. Oh. Uh. Excuse me. Because main game Celeste while tricky, is like... It's like a version of Meat Boy that doesn't, like, hate you. The fact that I have the jellyfish there is fucking me up. So I need to throw the jellyfish to the right. And that's kind of the beauty... Hold on. My throat's really dry, I've been talking so much. That's the beauty of Celeste, is... In, in the base game, a lot of the stuff looks crazy difficult, but like... It's- a lot of it is just about figuring out the right thing to do, rather than executing crazy shit. Some of this stuff is more about just executing crazy shit. So, I think I need to throw the jellyfish up at the right there. I think it'll just barely nick that, that's the only way it could hit it. Uh, okay. Fuck. God. Okay, hold on. That's not the same jellyfish you use later. For a second I was like, that's awesome how you just like juggle the same jellyfish. I love stuff like that. But it's not actually like that. The original jellyfish died. I'm sorry. Oh, man. That did... Guys, that did blow up the red wall, though, right? Fuck. Oh. 
I, you know, I've heard a lot of people say they hate the hotel. I think just like the cycle-based platforming. It did blow up the wall. I know it blows up the wall, but I just didn't know if it hit, basically, because I was looking at myself. I've heard a lot of people say they gave up or stopped playing after that level. It's certainly difficult. Right, I gotta go back to the bubble there. That time it did not break the wall, though. No. Oh. Like Bella said that she tried Celeste and gave up at the... She calls it like the library, I think, because the like laundry part looks like books. Didn't break the thing. Well, we can just relax here. Hotel also has- somebody said I didn't like the Metroidvania part, or the Metroidvania level. What now? Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Time for the binoculars again. Uh... <sighs> what the fuck was I just gonna say? It's got the, uh... It's got the whole thing where you need to, like, it's got that big middle room that's just, like, unfun to platform around. I don't even know if speedrunners have a cool way of getting around that. Okay. Uh, we're actually, like... <laughs> no, we're not that near the end. Fuck. <laughs> this room... Oh, man, this is gonna feel so nuts to actually do this room. Okay. So when I get there, dash up. I think that'll give me pink hair, right? Do we start with pink hair? No, we do not in this level. Uh... No. So... But the dash out of the bubble... is different, I guess. I'll be in the bubble here, so I'll be able to... dash straight up, dash straight to the right, hit the jellyfish, jump, dash, <laughs> hit the dash crystal, dash sideways into the jellyfish, go down... Oh god. Okay. And I have to- I have to do that last jellyfish throw, too. Oh, god. Ooh. This is gonna be tough. Gotta execute all this. Oh! Oh, god. Okay, that was a good attempt. I was really hoping, oh man, how cool would it have been if I just, like, did it right there, right? But no, it's- we're past the point where I can just, like, casually first try parts of rooms like that. Like, in order to complete a room, I need to die to every part of it, like, five times. Except that time! Oh, it's this level. That room felt awesome to actually do. This is the last one. Ooh. That was nowhere near the second try, but sure. Ow. that. Ooh. 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 What the fuck is this? I- yeah, I get what you mean. By second try. I'm just being a dick.
Oh, I got a wave dash on that shit. Are you able to hold onto walls indefinitely? No, there's like an invisible meter that ticks down, basically. It's like Breath of the Wild stamina. If you played that hit indie classic. Oh, I need to wall bounce there. Fuck. Well. That's the end for me! <laughs> yeah, I've seen people with the, like, stamina meter mod. It, it looks kind of bad. I wish it was a little more, like, stylized to look like the rest of the game, but whatever. All right. Ooh. 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 Is that it? That seems like that's it. Oh, wait, is there more? The fuck is this? Do I need to, like, grab this and it'll fall down? Cool. Imagine going for a golden strawberry run and getting crushed by that. Oh, that was cool. That was real cool. Very nice. I think I did it. Dog voices are here to congratulate me as usual. Uh, yeah. Very nice. Whew. That feels good. Holy shit, that is like one of the hardest levels I've ever played in my life. And that was just the heart side of the intermediate lobby. It's just the heart sides are so much harder than the actual levels. Is this tree walkable? Yeah. Oh my god, there's the heart. Cool. Very cute. And that's why... That's why there's this tree in the lobby, too. I bet you they, like, made this effect for, like, walking on the tree and were, like... I'll be damned if we're just going to use this for the end of the intermediate heart side. I kind of want to see if there's anything above it. No. Very cool. Fuck me. Tree of life. That was insane. I probably could have squeezed that out last stream, but whatever. Let's do a couple, uh... Let's, let's, let's do a couple advanced levels, maybe. Because I heard they're easier than that by, like, a considerable amount. Like, the easier advanced maps are, like, way easier than the intermediate heart side. Maybe we'll do, like, one or two. I would say. Very cool. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep playing this. Uh, I really would like to do Advanced, even Expert. Again, I will be going back to Washington in a few days, at which point I can... Uh, you know, check out hooking up a GameCube controller to this, because I genuinely think that would be better for, like, all those missed inputs. That, that that hurt my soul so much. Uh, it would just help like guide me better, I think, than this controller I have right now. So... But I, I think... I'm not even gonna like necessarily put a pin in this. It, there just might be a little gap between the streams of this, which I think people are probably fine with. <clears> hmm... <throat> Like, I- somebody's saying for Advanced Expert and even potentially Grandmaster, I would say simply play the levels that seem like they're in your wheelhouse and skip the ones you don't care for. Based, I think, but I really, I really would feel so satisfied with this experience if I could just get through Advanced. <clears throat> My throat, like, broke. I would love to get through Advanced, at the very least. And then with Expert and Grandmaster, I'll probably do it like that. But I really would like to do one, two, three, you know? 
Ah. <clears throat> Thanks, dogs. Okay. There's, by the way, there's so many credits here. I haven't even really been paying attention to them. But Jesus Christ, what a project this is. Yeah, oh, I should do the f advanced gym. That's right. Kind of forgot about the gyms. That That's one I definitely want to do. Because there was something I didn't know in the last gym. And that one I didn't think I would need to like know things for. Oh. So maybe that'll be a significant portion of this stream. <laughs> We maybe don't even necessarily need to, like, watch this whole credits scene, but I kind of like to. I don't know. Just chill a little bit. Oh, and we get cute little art. Thanks for playing. Smile. Cool. Oh my god. Okay, oh yeah, stop. I might be able to just instantly warp too, but I want to see. We, we gotta go back to the map, we gotta. Okay, so, boom. Boom. Good God. I, you know, I'm I'm gonna get pissed at the fucking heart side for uh, advanced, I'll tell you that much. Holy shit. What an insane amount of content there is in this game. <clears throat> like this mod, I mean. And and by the way, the base game also has a ludicrous amount of content for indie platformer that you can buy for like what like 20 bucks or something. <clears throat> okay. So I think this might be the last stream of this for a little while. It'll just be a short little like hour long thing. Maybe not even an hour. And, uh... And then we'll we'll come back later. This is still... This is the wrong fucking... How did I do this? I thought I was at Expert and I went back. No, this is Advanced. Right, this is Prologue. I forgot, I was like, I'm at the third one. Why did that not work? Okay. It's literally five dollars right now. This game, Celeste, one of the best platformers ever made, is five dollars right now. I swear it's not as hard as it looks. It's so fun. Oh my god, buy it. Uh, we have not even seen this- Whoa! We have not seen this lobby at all. Are you a green? No, I gotta do the fucking- Are you a green? You're yellow. We have not seen this world at all, which is cool. Okay, where's... where's the gym? Did I walk right past it? Gym. 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 Okay. Estimated time to beating this collab is 500 to 1000 hours. I believe you. Okay, neutral jumps I know. Someone was expressing concern that I would be able to do these on controller. Uh, I find them pretty simple to do. It's basically, to anybody who doesn't know what's going on here, normally if you just hold a direction and try to wall jump up a wall like Meat Boy, you can't. But if you, like, let go of the direction stick and then press it again in midair, you, like, are able to Meat Boy up a wall. Okay, oh, interesting. Weird, you can dropsel with it. Oh god, it's gonna make me do that. That's gotta be in one of the like harder levels, right? Oh Jesus. Neutral jumps usually give a consistent horizontal distance, so they're sometimes used to set up pixel perfect horizontal moves. Dropsels, you mean. That's cool, I did not know that. Okay. Uh midair super. Yep, we know that one. Basically with these, I just... With the ones I think I know, I just do them until... Until I need help, 
basically. Also, apparently for like Grandmaster or something, there's like a Hell Gym. I've heard about the Hell Gym that's like ludicrously difficult. And it like has a golden strawberry on it. Or like a silver one. Okay. Launch boost. That's a separate mod. Okay. Okay, this is the thing. Do you hold towards it or away from it? Because I was holding towards it there. <clears throat> hold the direction the boost will launch you in. There we go. Okay. Cool. God, okay. So dash and then quickly reverse. Aren't they called like pumbers? Am I wrong? on that. Fuck. Eee. Pumber is a Grandmaster difficulty map. Okay. That's where I heard the term. I mean, guys, I know about bumpers. I know what a bumper is. I thought they were specifically called Pumbers. I guess that's just for one map. The, like, Pinball Madness map, I think. Okay. Just gotta remember, hold in the direction that you're jumping. It makes sense. Okay. Hyper Bunny Hop. I see. Yeah, I've kind of... I've done this before. Fuck. Don't hold the, uh... Fuck. Maybe I'm not doing it well? Hold on. <laughs> boom, 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 fuck. <laughs> Shit, okay, hold on. I, I'm like spacing way further back than the demo one. Let's just see if this has anything to say. A short hyper, okay. It's like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, starting from right here. Fuck. Let me do the fucking thing. I, st I just always fly over it. Like, I feel like I should be going back here, but that's not where the demo one goes. Like, what the fuck? the jump and dash button at the same time. Oh. Okay. That works. Now this is a hyper. To my knowledge, a hyper is when you're standing on the ground and you go diagonally into the ground. A super is when you're standing on the ground and you go perpendicular to the ground. And then a wave dash is this, when you jump. Okay, hold on. There we go, okay. Uh, oh. <clears throat> I don't suppose, uh, suppose that's gonna come back? Fuck. This is going to be tough. Oh. No. Fuck. So am I pressing... Like, when I'm in the bubble, before it's even moved, am I hitting jump and dash? No. I don't think I am. It's like when I come out of the bubble. Dash out of the bubble? Okay. Okay. Fuck. Just jump twice. I see. There we go. Okay. No dash required. 
<laughs> Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you. No. Woo! Woo! I find this difficult. Because I'm supposed to jump on, like, the solid platform, too. Like this one. I'm supposed to also jump on that. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, it's like two small jumps. Fuck. No, I did it though. You need to be on the moving one a bit longer than the tiny jump. Fuck. No. That's clearly not it. So don't press them at the same time on this. I see. There we go. Fuck. Shit. Woo! Oh my god. Okay. Uh, launch boost. We've already done this. I think we've done all of these. Neutral jump, hyper bunny hop, which was, yeah. That's what we just did. Cool. I love that these have night mode. <clears throat> Jelly Vader, I know how to do. Reverses, I know what they are. Crouch jump. That's not a demo dash, is it? My dashing. Okay. Was that it? Did I do- was that right? I think this is what they're having me do. Oh god. Haha, <laughs> this one's gonna be hard. <laughs> Like, I'm trying to do, after I get that dash crystal, do like a straight right and then straight up. It's just not happening. Oh, God. Fuck. Fuck. Ugh. God, no! <laughs> and then I gotta do another re-grab right at the end there. Fuck. I could never do this. It's... It's simpler than it looks. A lot of it is just... There's this one, like, basic motion of, like, throwing Theo and then dashing into him that I just, like, fucked up. Actually, I guess it's way easier with jellyfish. Mostly I'm used to it on jellyfish. Fuck. Uh. Oh. I think an angle would work there too. Actually, that's way better. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> ah. Yeah, I think this stream will just be a couple of maps and then the gym. Oh, close. Oh, I 
didn't get the dash crystal. Oh. Oh. Close. This is easy. I do like that, like, these gyms are kind of a, a little level of their own, too. Oh, I was trying to grab him again! <sighs> and it's good, because it's actually making me better at this, too. Cool. Whew! That's just fun. Uh, okay. Jelly Vader, I think I know how to do, too. So where you hold down... Oh, I gotta actually do it precisely, though. You hold down while you're letting go of a jelly, and it makes it just go away. Oh, wait, what? What is this one? To optimize... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could try speedrunning any percent again, but I... I wouldn't get <laughs> anywhere near, like, the fucking leaderboard or whatever. Oh, I see. Part of the reason I did, like, an actual Pizza Tower speedrun is because I thought I, like, had a chance at getting an okay record. Fuck. Kill. Uh, why did I need to kill it? The Celeste speedrun community is pretty crazy. They do some awesome, crazy shit that I, I just feel like I, it's, it'd be like becoming a fucking pro Street Fighter 2 Turbo player. Just ill-advised. Damn. Fuck. Ugh. Hold on. Scratch the mic. I was holding grab. Fuck. I was holding grab. Yeah. I'm trying to like do it as fast as possible and it's like not even registering that I'm grabbing. Ugh. Why do I keep killing the jellyfish? I don't need to kill the jellyfish. Fuck. No. Please. Uh. No, this is hard. Please. <laughs> Ooh, this is tough because it's it's a it's a dangerous game we're playing here. Because I need to hold down so that I can neutral drop the jellyfish, but I also need to not drag it into the fucking fun dip. No. Oh. Bum, 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 bum. That's not... Oh, that's good. No, and then... Ah! Even if I let go of it a little too soon, or a little too late, rather. I gotta, like, let go of it earlier. Ugh. That's the solution. Oh, you're kidding me. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, reverse tech. Fuck. Let's just see. Is crouch jump demo dashing? Oh. Is it like... Oh, I see. You can just hold the crouch and jump, huh? I never knew you could do this. Can wall jump? Huh? As long as you continue moving upwards after doing a crouch jump, you'll retain your crouched state. <sighs> moving down will cause you to uncrouch immediately. Do a crouch jump, then do several climb jumps in quick succession to fit through the one tile gaps. Climb jumps? Like, just... Holding? Okay. Uh, I don't get it. Weird, I think I was just spamming it too hard or something. Cool. Had no idea that was a thing. Hold on. Uh... See, just straight up. Oh god. Okay. No. I'm just holding straight down here and going straight up. And then trying to hold to the right right at the end. Is that not what I'm supposed to do? Shit. That's not. Oh, there you go. No, that's exactly what you gotta do. Reverse. So this is like you, yeah. I should read it. It's like you wave dash back and then forward. You like, do you like turn around with one dash? I think that's what you do, maybe. Extend the super, I was gonna say, what is the use of this? Okay. So, am I doing... What exactly am I doing here? Am I doing a hyper? Am I doing a super? What am I doing? So here's a part where it actually matters. Cool. I think... Super. There you go. To perform a reverse hyper here, first dash down left, then press right and jump. Hmm. Is this a hyper? Are we starting it on the ground? We're starting this in the air, it looks like. Are we not starting from the air? Isn't that a wave dash? Reverse hypers can be performed on small platforms with a wall on one side to extend the hyper where it would otherwise be impossible. Error? Uh-oh. Extremely loud buzzer sound. Minor error. When performing a reverse wave dash, touch the floor before jumping to avoid doing a wall jump instead. Yeah, it's surprisingly easy. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. I need to like, what, extend that second one, right? Is that the term? Fuck. 
There we go. Sure. I don't get what the point of that one was. God, it's gonna make me do a bunch of them in a row now. Yeah, fast bubbling helps immensely for that. Why is that not working? What the fuck? Hmm? I just can't do it anymore. This one you're supposed to do a hyper? I also tried that a couple of times. There we go. I just, like, couldn't even get the, the wave dash one to work. Come on. <laughs> these final segments are always brutal. Some of these final segments of the gyms are harder than the actual levels that use these strategies. Ugh. Come on. Please, dude. Like, I know I'm just jumping into the spikes over and over again, but like, you can't, I, I can't do this on reaction. That's not a fucking thing. Fuck. <sighs> I, what am I doing wrong there? I think I need to like, wait longer. I'm doing it like too fast. Yeah. That's it. Oh, close. Yeah, oh, that's way easier if you just wait. Fuck. I'm doing it way, way too quick. That, and it was saying avoid wall jumping. Ooh, oh no. If I could have landed on that tiny little bit of wall, I could have fucking hopped up too. I was like mashing the jump button and climb. Shit. Yes! <laughs> okay. Whew, I think that's, that's all of them, right? God damn. Okay, how about we do like w the beginning of an advanced map? What do you say? There was definitely some stuff I did not know about in there. The crouch jumping thing. I knew what a reverse was, but I didn't really know how to do it and what the application was. I kind of thought you had to dash twice, but no, you just like turn around while you're wave dashing. Time. Sands of time. Gray time crystal. Oh. Shit. Shit. Guys, sands. I said sands. I tried to do- I fucked it up. I wanted to say like, guys, I said sands. Come on. And just like say the wrong thing. Because I intentionally set it to sound a lot like Sans the first time. What is happening? Oh, I see. I am going to be put to my death. Wait. Woo! Shit. Fuck! Grey Time Crystal is gonna be what my channel is called in, like, space use. Shit. I'm trying to maintain my fucking... Do I even get... God. No, if I, I think I... Yeah, I do get it back when I touch the ground. <clears throat> Fuck. Woo. 
Damn it. Fuck. Eee. Okay. Okay, got a wall bounce a couple times there. It's fun so far. Nowhere near the fucking intermediate heart side. As I kind of figured. God. Still quite a bit for uh, room two. It's long. Oh. I could do a momentum bunny hop or whatever the fuck. There. No. Right, you can't do that on those because they'll go away. Ugh. These, it's these fucking, like, slippy walls that always fuck up my wall bounces. Cool. That was a hyper. This is very fun. Ooh, barely got it. Let me, please. Ooh. Ooh. Please. No. I was trying to do neutral jumps. No. Y you could get up there, actually, with neutral jumps. Even if you don't have your dash at the end. You really need to go fucking flying with that one. And save a dash, I think. Save a dashery. No. Oh. Fuck. No! Uh. Hop up. Ah, what? Hey, what the fuck? That's so long. Do I need to like... Hmm. Is there something I'm missing here? Does this purple, like, force field do something? I don't think it does. I think that's just this level's version of a waterfall. Not going fast enough. The top block needs to be frozen. What top block? Like... Oh, uh, I thought that was like a little windmill or something in the background. That's a gear for this thing. Okay. Jesus. So I cannot fuck around there. The second I touch this... Eee. Damn it. Well, I think I made it with plenty of time. Right, and I gotta do one of the fucking bunny hops there. Ooh. Bruh. Okay, it looks like we're not gonna get much of this level done. I really hope it keeps my save data. 
when I go back to Washington. Like, I'm, I'm gonna try to, like, move the mod over. But, uh... Fuck. If it doesn't... That's not the end of the world, because I'm right at the threshold of a, a new world. It's just I wouldn't be able to keep my, like, hearts... It syncs on Steam Cloud? Like, I don't have to install Everest on my other computer? Cool. Bruh. I'm starting to think at the end of this room I'm gonna just quit for now. This is fun, it's just hard. I need to wave dash on that, too. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> I'll need to reinstall Everest and Strawberry Jam, but my save data should be saved on the cloud. Okay. Also, what is Bounce Queen? There's like something, like I can select base game Celeste, I can select Strawberry Jam, and then I can select like Bounce Queen Bio or some shit like that. Is that like a funny side mode or something? Bruh. Is that like Jump King? Maybe? Yeah, this is a custom level. Very cool custom level. Fuck. One of S Strawberry Jam's dependencies is Bounce Helper. Bounce Queen is the test map that comes along with it. Should I play it? It sounds kind of funny. But yeah, this mod is a blast. Oh god. Uh, it's just hard. This part right here keeps fucking me up. Cock. Yeah, you gotta be real smooth with those wall jumps, or with those wall bounces. Because otherwise the time is gonna unfreeze... ...inopportunely. Fuck! I keep... I keep not saving my dash there too. That's the problem. Like, ideally, I want to dash straight right into that crystal, but it's just not happening. Ooh, close one. No, I, I think I can manage that. Like, I keep trying to, like, diagonal, because it just feels right to do it there. Ooh. Damn it. Damn it. It's a test map that has a cool jellyfish that you can control and pick up dash crystals with. Okay. I might just take a quick, quick peek at it. Did the wrong thing again. Oh, I think that might have been it if I had fucking... Oh, oh, ah. I was thinking about this the other day. How many fucking Mario Party games are on the GameCube? Is 3 the first GameCube one, or was that on N64? Because then that means it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 5 games? 3 is N64. 4 is the first GameCube one. 4 Mario Party games on the GameCube. It's kind of insane. That's gotta be the most, right? I keep trying to dash straight up after that and it's just not working. Like dash straight up. Okay. It's just, I need to like, 
It is a little awkward, the spacing for that dashing straight to the right. I was kind of right about that. Damn it. Yeah, the Wii just had eight, right? Like, Mario Party 8, I mean, not 8 games. Oh, God! You need to, like, chain together the wave dashes there. That is so crazy. Damn it. 9 was on the Wii. I really thought that was Wii U. I had good timing that, that one attempt. Fuck. Okay. We're gonna try this. Nice! That's hot! That's fucking hot! Fuck. Maybe don't DI between the chained wall bounces. Ideally, I would just go zoom zoom! But it's so- that's so tricky to do. I've been, like, trying to do it as fast as possible. It's just tricky. <laughs> no way. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I tried to bunny hop off of the, uh, the square zip mover. I don't know about the breakable block. I think I have to, that's where I have to start the, uh, or are you talking about a different one? I don't know why I do this. It's obviously pointless. Oh. To this day I have yet to distinguish any mar any Nintendo console from the others. I could I could help you distinguish between like a fucking Switch and an NES. I can point out a game of game and watch from across the room. Right there, that means nothing to me, because I'm five seconds in the future for you. Fuck. Damn it. Damn it. Still make it? Oh god. Ooh. The Game & Watch guy. Game & Watch Gallery 3 got added to Nintendo Switch Online. It was in, like, the first wave of, uh... Game Boy games. Ooh, barely made it. Yeah, I think I need to wave dash off of that one. I think, in fact, if I had done it that time, I would have made it. But whatever, we're getting better at this. This is super fun to do. This is not DDR. Fuck. Whew. Fuck. Whoa. That was a little weird. It, like, stopped a little higher up, because I grabbed the crystal a bit later. <laughs> Woo! That was not the way I was supposed to do it, I think, but I did it. Okay. No, I'm not going to learn about the blue time crystal. I'm going to go to Bounce Queen, and then I'm going to leave. So I think if I just hit climb, go in here. No. <sighs> I 
I need to go to the map specifically. Here, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know if I hit return to lobby, it also saves, but I'm just going to do it on a different file. I booted up this file to try to do... Look, I gave up on the Celestial Resort. That's hilarious. I was trying to do keyboard. What was I saying about that being the part of the game that people give up on? Bio Bounce Helper Test Map. Why did I think it was called Bounce Queen? I swear it was called Bounce Queen. Okay. This is stupid. Clearly I'm supposed to touch the jellyfish. Okay. Oh, those don't actually move? Wait, what just killed- oh. Does the jellyfish kill you if it dies? This doesn't actually move. Hmm. Interesting. It has like its own version of dash crystals. <laughs> and it's like bound to you like Theo. Okay, is this really- is this all there is, I guess? Oh no, there's more. And then, can I like... Fuck. Okay, yeah, this is- man, this takes me back to when I fucking... Uh... No. To when I fucking used my action replay on Super Mario 64 DS and had a bunch of, uh, like, test stages. I think there really was one major test stage. Okay. Well, I don't, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here, but... Anything up here? No, I think that's it. Okay, whatever. I was just curious what that was. I swear it was called Bounce Queen. You should check out the funny settings in the options. Okay. Always active dream tunnel. Player always has nail. Like Hollow Knight nail? Wait, what? Why do I have like a little hitbox in front of me now? Weird. I don't know what the fuck that is. Overriding colors? Huh. Enabled. Extended variant mode. That one just says enabled on. Hook lazy landing. Monocle draw functions to use it. What? Drawing shapes. I, I don't get to draw, right? It's like the game spawning stuff, right? Where's the funny? Okay, I don't know. Well, whatever. So, next time might be a little while. I might do a little more of this before I go back, but... I just want to try a fucking... Actual notched controller. So, let's go raid somebody. I love the look at the fucking bio bounce helper test map, zero bounce helper test map. Let's go raid. Who is playing something? It evolved once, it's gonna uh, Somebody's playing Mario Party. Why is it suggesting me a stream with 27 viewers? Sure. Fucking sure. Slash raid. Green fella. Does this guy even, like, talk? Was that him saying um? Well, whatever. 
Uh, let's go raid this random person who has a bunch of, like, bullshit on their screen. And, uh... I'll do... Next time I'll do, like, Isaac or Pizza Tower demos or something. I don't know. Uh... So, take it easy. Celeste will come back at some point for at least a little bit more. But not... Maybe not... I mean, definitely not the whole thing. Maybe not even all of Advanced. I'd like to do all of Advanced. We'll see. Okay, see you later. Take it easy.